Tonight, we're counting down to the Summer Olympic Games by showcasing the stories I gathered during a pre-pandemic trip to Japan. Tonight at 11, we're climbing into the ring with giants. They are the giants of Japan. Imposing and disciplined. Hardened by years of grueling training. When they meet in the ring, it's as much ritual as sport. Preparing for a battle that will only last seconds. Sumo is this country's national sport. One with ancient origins. Today, this district in Tokyo is known as the center of the sumo world. This is where the national tournaments take place. The neighborhood is also full of sumo training stables, restaurants, and of course, the oversized athletes themselves. Hi, uh, my name is Toshiro. Nice to meet you. Yoshinori Toshiro has been around sumo since he was eight years old. As an adult, Toshiro is huge. 6'2", 400 pounds. On this day, he was joined by Kazumaso Soto. He's 6'1", 330 pounds. Oh! 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 The top 70 professional wrestlers can earn $10,000 a month, plus tournament winnings. Oh! Oh! Toshiro ranks 77th. So he got nothing. But his sumo sized personality has paid off big in retirement. He's become a model. Sumo model. And an actor. India movie. Tashiro's face is everywhere, pitching everything from tourism to underwear, to candy. Today, he's also a business owner. Sumo event. Tashiro and other retired wrestlers entertain tourists at the Sumo Experience, giving visitors an up-close look at their flexibility. They put on a sumo show. and they serve everybody the same hot pot food sumo wrestlers eat. Sumo wrestlers do have big appetites. Toshiro can eat 300 pieces of sushi. Two pieces together, one bite. <laughs> Very expensive. <laughs> The sumo experience give guests a chance to put on a sumo suit. I gave it a shot. Toshiro had me spinning. But he let me win. In Japan, sumo wrestlers are extremely popular. It's a sport that continues to fascinate the world. With the stars literally bigger than life. The Giants of Japan.
I'll have more stories from Japan as we get ready for the Summer Olympics on July 23rd.